What's poppin' guys? And today we have a package from thecubicle.com Huge, huge and special thanks to Leo Romeo for helping make this package possible. So please, give him the love, the care, and the support. I'm actually really excited for this package, so anyways, let's just jump right straight into it. So here we have a receipt, and we also have a cubicle.com business card with the actual research on the back. I had the Cubicle Labs business card, so I have two in my collection. That's pretty neat. We also have the Meilong 3C and the X-Men Galaxy V2 LM. So let's head over to the first cube. So the Meilong 3C is an update to the, May the regular Meilong 3x3. I do have my regular Meilong 3, which is set up polished and magnetized. So I'm quite excited to see how this compares to the other. Now aside from the box and the pamphlet, we have the cube here and I can feel a little bit of wobble there, probably because it is out of the box, no setup, and probably just factory lube. So anyways, let's get into first turns. Okay, from this first impressions, I can feel just a little bit more stability and the corner cutting also is actually quite nice compared to the, the other Meilongs that I had out of the box. The smoothness is still the same, as to be expected as an out of the box Meilong, so that's also quite nice. The corner cutting, it's also as to be expected, just similar to a regular Meilong and reverse is also almost around that piece mark. I can still feel a little bit of that out-of-the-box scratchiness and sandiness and after a little bit of break-in setting up, this will actually definitely get better. Well, this is quite to expect from the Meilong line and I'm actually really quite happy about this. And now, we have the cream of the crop of this unboxing, the Galaxy V2 LM. So far, I don't actually have any magnetic Mega Minxes in my collection, and right now I'm currently borrowing Nathan the Cuber's Galaxy V2M. So let's take a look and see how this compares to my other Mega Minxes. When I unboxed the Vault V2, I did not realize you could drag it out like this. Here we have the Mega Minx without any plastic wrapping, and we have an accessories box and a pamphlet inside. So these are the black pieces when you want to replace any face in the Mega Minx with black. And that's pretty cool. I'll definitely be doing this soon because I'm not that used to having gray on top. Especially that it's a bit too subtle of a color. So I'll definitely be switching with these. So out of the box, the V2 LM feels quite luby. So I'll just wipe this down first before we get into first turns. Alright, got it wiped down quite a little bit more recently. So anyways, let's see first turns. Okay, I can feel a little of, of that scratchiness. It's just a little bit there. There's a little bit of that stiffness. I can feel just a little bit. Maybe it's because of it, these tire tensions. I'm not that used to it yet, but I might, ha I might have to experiment with these tensions. But the speed of this is actually just quite reasonable. Yes, I, I can also feel some tightness in this, and especially with the corner cutting. It's a little bit around less than 36 degrees for corner cutting and for reverse, it might be a little bit less. Maybe it's because that these tensions are just really really tight for some reason. Like see here on this V2, the tensions are a little bit looser and that's how the cube is a little bit more manageable. But for this LM, I'll definitely have to break this in more and definitely set up and retension this. Alright, so this is quite odd, but at first I didn't notice any difference between the two because their sizes are just very similar, but it's just that the size of the V2 LM is just a super super small increment from the V2M. And after doing a couple solves on this Mega right now, it kind of made a little bit of a difference and made it stand out from the V2. But so far, performance-wise, the V2 LM is currently a little bit stiff, but after these few solves, it kind of got a little bit better, but I'll still have to work on this more, especially to replace this gray with this black, so I could be able to, you know, recognize it from the other colors a little bit more. Otherwise, right now, it's gonna be my main Mega Minx over 
the Yishun Low Magic. I've been a little bit used to the regular V2, and this has been uh, reset up. And for this, I'll also have to do the same as well. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. I really also need to return this as well. So yeah, because it's not my Mega Minx. So anyways, these are the two puzzles that I have unboxed in this video, and they are quite, quite promising. This one, hopefully, might actually end up being better than a standard Meilong. But with work and time, we'll see about this. And for the V2 LM, I also have to replace the caps once again to work it in and make it much more better. So I'll see you guys in the next bit of this video. Now, I've spent over two months with these two cubes, and here are some of my thoughts. The Meilong 3C is basically just like a regular Meilong. No further statement. Things are more unique with the Galaxy V2 LM on the other hand. From these two months, it has become smoother than its out-of-the-box feeling. The corner cutting definitely has improved after setup and has become one of the best corner cutting on the market. However, all these performance aside, the speed of the Mega Minx can be quite volatile because it may be easy to gum up especially when putting a lot of lumen setup or not using it for quite a while. In terms of size, the LM definitely will be bigger than the standard Galaxy V2M, although it just takes some time just to get used to the size and to really differentiate it, though the size still can be quite compact for the hands. The only issue I have with this Mega Mix, however, is that out of the 12 sides, there is one that's considerably stiffer than the rest, and that is the orange side. And I kind of figured it out because it has quite a stiffer spring compression compared to the other layers. On the other hand, it also pops and corner twists often, especially when it's too loose. But it's still something to expect from Mega Minxes. Overall, the Galaxy V2 LM is still standing as one of the best Mega Minxes on the market and can still be almost worth picking up if you're into that smoother corner cutting and the more compact size compared to other Mega Minxes. If you do want to pick these puzzles up, the links are down in the description below. Once again, a huge, huge thank you to Leo Borromeo for making this unboxing possible. So please, share to him the love and the support. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Keep popping, guys. Peace.